Welcome to the instructional video for the Sentinel test. After outlining the steps of the test, we'll show a real-time run-through. Please take out the card provided and follow along as we begin. The first step will be accessing the test online. You can use the camera function on a mobile device to access the website with the QR code in the center of the card. When the QR code is recognized, you'll be directed to our website. If this doesn't work, or you're using a laptop or desktop, you can manually enter the link into your web browser. This will bring you to the site where you can enter the code provided on the card. Regardless of how you access the website, be mindful of which colored sticker is attached to your card. Once you are on the site, you will provide information about the colored sticker and the code on your card if you're on a laptop or desktop. Please let us know if this is your first time completing the test. Once this is complete, please access the consent form PDF at the top of the page and carefully read through it to understand more about volunteering for this study. When you open the informed consent form, your institution or site will be in the title of the document. The consenting process will cover four broad topics. The first is being informed about what they are being asked to do and why, plus how long it'll take to do. In short, for the purposes of understanding COVID and smell loss, people are being asked to provide information about themselves, smell from three stickers, then make ratings about what they detect, if anything, from the stickers that they smelled. This may take up to two minutes, but they may be asked to be retested, so total involvement could last up to three months. The second topic to be covered is the risks and or benefits to the participant, of which there are none. Third, it needs to be emphasized that participation in the study is voluntary, with no consequences should they not consent or withdraw after consenting. The fourth and final topic covered during consenting is a reminder that participants' information will remain confidential. Beyond those four main points, what they are doing for how long and why, what the risks and or benefits are to them participating, and a reminder that participation is voluntary and their confidentiality will be maintained. The participants need to know who to contact if they have questions or concerns. Before leaving the consent form, potential participants are also given a reminder of how to provide consent once they are back on the online survey. If you consent, click the appropriate button and after consenting, Please provide some basic information about yourself, including age, sex, race, ethnicity, and whether you currently have a smell or taste disorder. Before beginning the rapid smell test, you'll be asked to make ratings about any symptoms you're experiencing, if any. Going back to the card, one at a time, lift the corner of each sticker, smell, then move on until you've lifted and smelled from all three stickers. Please re-smell from the stickers as often as you'd like, and when you've smelled them to your satisfaction, if you detected an odor, make a rating on the website as to which odor is strongest, and if you don't know, please guess. Next, you'll rate the intensity of the odor you detected by using your cursor or finger, depending on the device, to move the slider to the left or right to correspond with your perception. Then, please choose the picture that best represents the odor you detected, and if you didn't detect an odor, we'd still like for you to guess. If the rating is correct or you made a second guess, you'll be brought to the end of the test. Now let's do a run through of this procedure to demonstrate how quick and easy it is regardless of what device you use.
thank you for watching this video.